The latest statistics by the World Health Organization have gotten everyone worried, with countries like Côte d'Ivoire bracing itself for the worst. In the streets of Abidjan, residents are flocking hand sanitizing stations, while similar products in pharmacies are selling quickly. Following government recommendations, most people have stopped the lengthy handshakes that characterize street conversations, instead waving or nodding their heads. If we can't say hello, we can't communicate and get close to each other. I don't know how we can talk about development. Cote d'Ivoire has also shut all air and land borders with the countries affected by the outbreak and banned its national carrier from flying to these countries. But while these measures are designed to keep the population safe and Ebola free, they are taking a toll on the tourism sector. As a travel agent, seeing how there is a restriction on our services, this has given us a shock. We are no longer able to satisfy our clients. Imagine clients who have to travel from one day to the next, seeing their reservations cancelled. At our level, Ebola is more like an emotional shock, and it will have a financial impact. Our business figures will definitely take a dive. The World Health Organization says countries hit by the outbreak are also beginning to suffer shortages of fuel, food and basic supplies after shipping companies and airlines suspended services to the region. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.